it hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to, and where? Pa. The hell was that? What do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. Calm down. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley. He's even suffering from old wounds. I was scared for him. Scared that he'd turn do something there was no turning back from. I suggested moving to this mine clean. I suggested moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? I heard sounds. It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake to be, for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room? Don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? Central Hospital. Why are you way over there? Listen, I'm going there, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please, don't. Leave me alone. David! Hey, David! David's killing himself. Damn it. It'd take about a day to get to that place on my motorcycle. Oh, Mr. Badass has a motorcycle. Okay. Marion, I'm going to see David. I'm going with you. David is my friend, too. I, j I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. Da 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 dun dun. Huh. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen. Everybody should tell me. No, you shouldn't tell me. I want to find out. David's car. He's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Oh my god, we're Paul. Ah, I'm Paul! Paul is also huge compared to cars. God damn it, we're living in a mini city. What's happening? Hey there. Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Eh, I doubt it. Too soon. Hello? David? David, where are you? David, if you're hiding in a corner, please do not pop out at me. I wouldn't like that very much. I don't think they're gonna be here. David got stuck with his mama. That's like way over here. I'm wondering about that sound. Oh my god. Never mind, guys. I was wrong. Uh, it's like Oprah. I think it was o David! Who's there? What are you doing here? Sissy? A, a girl. Hey, what are you doing in this whole place? You hate sisters like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? What's this about? What do you mean, what is she? She's a girl. Go see him. Man, what the hell was that? Hey, I, I guess I'm, I guess I'm done here. Okay, I thought I was Sissy. I'm guessing we're gonna run into D next, considering that Sissy would be just random. Someone else? David! Yep, D. Hey, who are you? Hi, D. Missed ya. You still have that, uh, postcard? No postcard? Okay. Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? He's not alone. David's here. Hey, your friend, right? Wait. Hey, he's your friend, right? Go and save him. Tell him the truth. Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. 
Mighty. It's ghosty. Ghosty. There's a joke in there somewhere. Ugh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Why is Marion so calm about it? Marion! What the hell's wrong with you? Well, Dee was downstairs. I mean, not Dee. David was downstairs in here when all this shit went to hell. Oh, he's not here anymore. That's just great. David, where the fuck did you go, you little douchebag? We need to find Mr. David. Let's assume the roof then. Wait, the hell? Marion looks fat. Paul, your husband's... There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. Hey, uh... The hell was his name? Fluffy! The return of Fluffy. He found the crooked sixpence against the crooked style. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a pot. Shut the fuck up, I'm talking. Kid, what are you doing? And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he wouldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey. What was with him? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Uh-oh. Marion's possessed. Marion, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean, teasing you? Who do you think you're talking to? Huh? The music. Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David, no jokes. Ooh, this is creepy. So that's it, huh? Ooh, this is creepy. Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for, uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. If anything happens, I'd be putting us both in danger. Please, just trust me. Alright. Please come back quickly. Right. Ooh, I like this now. Just wait for me, David. Ooh. Why am I so excited? Oh wait, I gotta go to the roof. Ah, it's the intensity I had when I first started playing the game. I miss this. Sounds kind of creepy if you say it out loud. Ignore it. Yeah, the music stopped. He has to be here. David, what are you doing out there? Don't open. Hmm. I'm gonna save before I open it. Open. Ah, uh, David, David, David. Ah, uh, he's still depressed. David! Paul, why are you here? came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. David. I knew that picture was from somewhere. David, you. I'm... I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm... I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. Ooh. What? What's that? Ooh! I'm enjoying this now. Agony. Living is... Agony. Nothing will go how I want it. 
info right here, right now. David! Oh! Oh god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, persuade. This is most likely the wrong answer. I just, I, I, pr I pretty much want to go through all of them. I know you had, I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up. Who do you think you are? You want to help me? Good things will happen? They never have. It was all for nothing, so I... David, stop, don't say that. Who are you? Huh? I don't know you, and you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. D David, you're... But I only realized in my last moments. Out of my sight, hypocrite. David! Oh. Did we pass it on to Paul? David. Bad end number three. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, that was... Oh, that was intense. Okay, we still have two endings to uncover. Okay, and we're back. This time, we're going to take the gun. Hey, why you? Why do you have a gun anyways? Give me that. Stop. Let go. Just leave me be. Friend, I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop! Who got shot? Huh? What? We shot Paul. Ah. Uh. Paul! Uh. Did I... Did I just shoot you? I... I didn't know. No. I really... Killed. No, David, not your fault. I tried to grab the gun. It was all me. It's not your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. I think David's gonna... Yeah, he is. I'm sorry, Paul. Uh, bad end number four. Not your fault, David. Ah. Okay, one more ending. And then I guess we're done. Okay. Now! I'm going to punch him. Fuck you, David. Damn! I thought you were. <laughs> if I don't press anything, would you just like kill him? You damn monster! Get away from David! Hey! Ow! Stop! Ugh. That hurts! Stop, you moron! David, you back with us? Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been the same from the start. No, you haven't, David. Oh, no, you have not. Like hell. And that's the kind of dude when sane. I'd have to beat you up till you promise not to. Not at the stuff you've been doing. Not after the stuff you've been doing. You better tell me everything that happened. Does David even know? Was he like possessed this whole time? Hmm. Sissy. T. And Fluffy. And that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. We'll see. It's not exactly fan fanaticism. 
Don't I always tell you that I see it? You and Mary never believe me. Eesh. Anyways, about Sissy D and the kiddo. I think I met them. Oh, you did. You really did. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe. But Sissy and D wouldn't be here. No, they're all part of your imagination, aren't they? Listen up, David. People's consciousness. They sort of stick out in places. Oh, I have the shivers. This is... Ah! More of your occult st shit. Whatever. You seriously making fu fun of the occult after this? Just listen, and no jokes. So you've had plenty of similar... Pl you've had it plenty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. But once you moved in, I had a strange feeling. From you, and from the room. I've had to guess that the guy's consciousness and you were a perfect match. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy too. So you're saying, he's calling me. Yup, and you're unconsciously responding. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with, you, with others. And they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know him? You know a little from that stuff he left. Plus, he was that, that was all stuff you could identify with. So, what, what would you think of a guy who's a spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both, same as him. Think back, the crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? What? Sissy, the Fluffy. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share his suffering with you. So he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not, it's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me, got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm, what's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. And I don't think it's that far. Another address? I'm going. I have to meet him. You could have- you could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You, you come back to us safe. I don't want to go to my best friend's funeral. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Scene four, Central Hospital. Paul. Oh, this is so awesome! I'm not stopping now. We are gonna continue into theme five. That has to be the final one. I, if it's not too long, I'll be sure to put it into part 14. If not, it'll have to be its own separate video because I just have to do this now. I have to. I'm sorry if that's not cool, but I am really into the story right now and I just cannot look away okay so we're gonna continue and i hope you're enjoying this because i know i am thanks for watching guys peace and if we continue i'll see you in a couple seconds